All right, guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to start showing you how to make the Flight Test Wonder Glider Kit. It's an awesome kit. It's easy to build, flies really well. So we're going to take you through a few steps, um, show you how the kit works, uh, get it built, and then we're going to go fly them. So the basic kit comes as two pieces. Looks like this. Um, we order these in a five pack, so each five pack is gonna come with a bag of parts enough for five airplanes. This we're just gonna set aside. We don't need that for quite a while. Uh, we have, it's kinda hard to see here, but this is the wing. This is the fuselage. It's a really interesting shape. We have the vertical stabilizer and rudder, the horizontal stabilizer and elevator. And then these are just strengtheners that go in the fuselage. This piece often will be missing from the kit. It's not part of the airplane. Um, we don't need it. If it's missing, it's not a big deal. And then these last two parts are actually tools to help us get the right angle on the dihedral for the wing tips. So that's the basic kit. Uh, the very first thing you are going to do when you get your kit is put your name on every single part. Okay, we're going to have dozens of these floating around in the shop. We want to make sure you don't get your parts mixed up with somebody else. So uh, pen works really well. This white um, maker board is a little harder to write on with pencil, but you can make it work. It doesn't have to be Super easy to read as long as it's there and we can identify who it belongs to. You're gonna write your name one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Uh, also point out a couple of these little pieces. We don't need this little piece, it's already fallen out. This piece is also not important. So if it's gone, not a big deal. So when you get your kit, put your name on it and then we're ready to build. Okay, now that we've got our name on everything, we are gonna start with the wing. So we're very carefully gonna start popping the wing out. And uh, beware, this cardboard, the paper edges are very sharp and they will cut you. So we're just gonna work our way around. We're gonna pop the wing out. And then we're gonna set everything else aside for a few minutes. So there's our wing. And uh, I want you to notice that this side of the wing, no lines. I mean, you can kind of see where they are. This side is where the cuts are, right? And uh, they're not cut all the way through, it's score lines. So the very first thing we're gonna do is starting with this edge right here we need to get this little strip out. Easiest way i found to do that is to break the foam all the way through by bending it. So this one was already cracked. So we got it nice and flat. Now the hard part is getting this one the same. So we're gonna have to bend this and then just work our way across, making sure we get the second one cracked all the way just like that too. And finally, we got to rip this strip out. We don't want to rip this paper. So absolute not want to do that. What we do want to do is get rid of this side. So I like to start on an end. I'm going to pinch right here, not tearing that paper. And we just start to peel this off all the way across. Take your time. Again, don't cut yourself on the cardboard. We don't want any foam left. Little piece there. Once you get it started, it should come off pretty easily. And this piece 
is going to go in the garbage. So we can take that, put it in the garbage. We're done. We're left with this big old gap. Okay, this part is going to get folded over. So the piece we ripped out is on the inside. And make sure there's no little chunks in there. And it's going to get glued down like that. Bump here. So before we put hot glue on there, notice these lines here, one on each side. We want to keep the glue away from these cracks all the way across. We'll put glue in some of those later, but right now I'm going to put a daub of glue here. I'm going to put a daub of glue across this and another daub of glue here. I'm going to set it down and I'm going to make sure I'm holding that down all the way across nice and tight for at least a good good 60 seconds. So here we go. Blob of glue here. Blob across there like that. Ooh, that's a lot. Some right there. And I'm going to fold this over. And watch out because it's hot. And I'm going to hold this down for a good 60 seconds until it is completely stuck. If you got some oozing out like that, you can take a scrap and just kind of smoosh it back in. But again, we don't want glue here or here where those other lines are. So now we just gotta wait. Keep your fingers out of the hot glue. All right, now that that's dry, we're gonna do the next part. So this seam right here, we want this to actually bend this way, but it won't bend. And if we're not careful, it's gonna rip. We don't want that to happen. So here's how we make this bend the wrong way. I'm gonna take the back end of a Sharpie or something big and round like that, and I'm just going to drag it along the crease. And you're gonna to have to do this a few times. And what I'm doing is I am crushing the foam along this edge so that we can make it overlap. So I went straight, now I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna go this way just to mash this side down a little bit more. And then I'm gonna do it the other way Spin this around so we can do the other side here. Mash that down. And we just keep doing that until this is still pretty tight, but it's starting to fold. Until we can get that to go all the way over and flat. So you may have to run it, the marker over it a couple of times until there. Okay, so that gives us a nice curved leading edge right here. Now we're gonna work on making the curve of the airfoil. So right now this piece is flat. We want it to be curved and you can see we have these cuts here and that's really already all we need. We're gonna squirt a little bit of glue in both of those cracks and open them up just a little bit. Okay, we wanna stay away from these. We don't want any glue anywhere near these, but I'm gonna squirt just a little bit of glue here, here, and here on both of those lines. I'm gonna flip it over like this, and I'm just gonna hold it until it's dry that will give this, this part here, the permanent shape we need. Okay, so here we go. We got our hot glue gun. A little bit here. So I'm pushing the tip down into the glue or the crack there. We're just going across and we again want to do this fairly quickly. Otherwise, the glue starts to set. Cool, I guess would be the correct term. So I'm gonna bend that, kind of stick it together. We, we're not quite ready to have it stuck down yet. 
So I'm kind of pinching these edges together. I'm not really pushing down. But we want to make sure we get the two wing tips as well. And again, we're going to wait for about 60 seconds. Okay, now that that's cooled, if we let up, you'll see that it maintains its curve. We are now going to glue this piece up to here. So same as we glued this piece down, we're going to put glue here, crossed here, and on this, we're going to fold it over. We're going to glue that down just like that. Let's do that. Glue here, glue across here, glue there. Give me just a little extra dab. And now, once again, I am pushing down this time. I'm not pinching together, making sure I push down on the edges all the way across it. And again, we wait. Okay. So it looks like it's glued. We're now ready for the last step. And this happens at the wingtips. We're going to take a wingtip and these are going to get bent up. The way we get them to the right angle is we're going to punch one of these tools out. You really don't need two of them. They give you two. We're just going to do one wing tip at a time. This is going to hold the wing tip up. Okay, so we're going to squirt some glue in there. I'm going to set it down. I'm going to hold behind there. I'm going to get this under right there and we're going to let it dry. All right, so hot glue again. Squirting it in there. And on this one, we are going to want a clean edge. So I'm going to lift up on this, get my tool under there, and we're going to clean that glue while it's still hot, just with my scrap, any scrap you can get. You just drag it across there, smooth any of that glue out, and we wait. We are going to do this twice. We're going to do the exact same thing to the other wing tip, I'm not going to show you that in the video. You can just get that done and we'll show you the next step. Now that it's glued, glue's dry, we've got the dihedral on the wing tips. Both of them are ready to go. We're going to make that just a little bit stronger by taking some clear packing tape. We just need a little strip. And we're just going to put it right along there like that on both wingtips once we're done with this the wing is finished um, the only other thing I would recommend you do with this wing is you'll notice my name disappeared it's underneath this so Grab your pencil or sharpie or whatever it is. Make sure your name is visible so it doesn't get mixed up with anybody else in the class. Um, be a good idea to set this aside either in a cubby or a locker or wherever you're, you're storing your, your parts. Next video, we're gonna show you how to make the fuselage.